Welcome to the Nightly Rant. I'm Mike. And I'm Toria. This is the show where we talk about the awful things that have happened in our day, the awesome things that have happened in our day, and all the things in between. Thanks for listening, and we truly hope you enjoy. You know, sitting here talking about social media a second ago made me realize that it's kind of tricky for businesses because, you know, if someone messages you personally and they're weird, and I mean weird as in like suspicious or maybe they're just perverted, who knows? There's all sorts of things inside that spectrum, but you can be as firm about it as you want. You could just ignore them and block them if you want. Yes. But as a business, you kind of have to entertain them for a second. Nope, I blocked them too. Just kidding. You have to entertain them for a second. I blocked the porn people immediately. Oh, because yeah, I really don't have to entertain naked well, ass. Well, especially, you know you know what's kind of cool <laughs> about the... But you know what's kind of cool about the Instagram way? Is when you go to accept that person or not. The block like button's right there. Back, but to follow them back or not, it tells you how many... Or like when they message you, it tells you they have zero posts... They follow zero people and they have, you know, 375 followers. You know that's a, a bot. Bot, 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 Somebody bot, Somebody created bot. that account just to use as a bot because they don't want to lose their main account. Bot. Yes. So, yeah, block those immediately. But the ones that look like they could be a customer and have, like, a need for a website or whatever, you, you kind of have to entertain them for a bit. And that can get you in trouble. You know, the people who message... Our business Instagram account, and are like, we do social media, we can help. I'm like, just like, fuck off. Look at our website before you immediately decide you can help, and realize that we're advertising, doing social media for people. I do not want to hire you to do it for me. I came up with my own strategy. Thank you very much, and it's working oh, pretty good. Ah. <laughs> uh... Bianca's like, OMG, eight pounds. Yeah. We knew he was skinny. His vet paperwork said he weighed 14 pounds. And we were getting in the car, and I was like, he doesn't weigh 14 pounds. He gets on a scale, he weighs 8.1 pounds. Yeah, that's crazy. He weighs less than Parker. Sorry, I was distracted by their commentary on the poor dog. There's commentary on the dog? Yeah. I must read. So... Where were we? Ranting about oh, yeah. stupid so you social media people. you kind of have to entertain people. those people. And it gets dicey sometimes because, you know, there are some people who are just like, I don't know, legitimately not all there. Right. And you can kind of corral them, you know. But then there are people that are maliciously not all there, like. They're acting crazy on purpose. Yeah, and sometimes and you're they're a little the ones bit you concerned. Watch out for. Yeah, they're the ones you gotta watch out for. Or the people, there are people who come out of the woodwork and they're immediately like this super colossal fan. And you're just like, you you don't know anything about us. Why are you such a big fan? Right. It's suspicious. Right. And it's kind of sad. You have to be suspicious of somebody being appreciative of the things you do. But you get burned a lot. So you have to be. Yeah, you do. And that was one of the things we were talking about is like how we've discovered so many different freelancers, I guess you want to say. I was going to call them contractors, but freelancers is a better word. Who They lance freedom. It's true. They promise all these great things from a service perspective. And they even provide it for a month, two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then when they feel like you trust them, then they begin to take advantage of you. Right. Before we move too far away from our topic, though, I want to tell all of you, if you message us on Instagram, and I seem suspicious, it's just because a lot of freaking weirdos message us on Instagram. Well, and that's the thing. That's what I was going to say. Like, one of the things about Facebook over any of the others... 
is that it allows more granular control. Like if I want to let someone into my life, but I only want them to see public posts and posts that I add to a specific group, then I add only them to that group. I add them to public. And then I, all my other posts are everybody but that one group. Right. And then I can keep them kind of isolated. And then when I want that group to see it, I just don't put the everybody but. I just do everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have a very similar system. And then, and I like that because it gives you granular control. But Instagram, you can't do that. Right. It's blocker except. Right. And of course, you know, not following back doesn't help. And on the podcast network and on the web scientists, very nice. People who message us 99% of the time. Yeah. But the another... people who message my personal Instagram, try to sell me their social media services. I have 127 followers. Do you think I give a fuck about your social media <laughs> services? I post dogs and pizza. Dogs and pizza. And freebies from T-Mobile. And freebies from T-Mobile. Don't forget it's those. It's glorious. But only 127 people approve. And, and that's okay. There's, occasionally there's cats. I don't know. Are there any cats? Occasionally. I'm going to go look now. I'm pretty sure there's cats. You're probably right, but I have to double check. But that's funny because... Oh, there's a cat. Why would someone approach someone's personal Instagram with only 100 and something followers thinking you're going to want more followers? Right. I really don't care. Actually, I have 179 followers now. Because the dog people are following me. All the dog people. Well, that's good, though. They seem like nice people. All the people obsessed with dogs on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, they are nice people. They like all my posts. I appreciate them. <laughs> I always get when I tag a picture of Yogi with, like, hashtag Karen Terrier. I get, like, a bazillion Karen Terrier people coming out of the woodworks asking me which type of Karen Terrier he is. I'm like, he's a mix. He's the demon type. Like, he's not a purebred. Look at him. He's a demon. He's biting me while we podcast. Anyway, they um, they don't get it. They just don't get it, and it and it's frustrating to be a business. Like I said, as a person, you can just cut the person off. Poof, gone. You're blocked. And I do. <laughs> but you do that with a business. There's only so many people oh, that are going to be yeah. interested in your type of service. I mean, you're slowly shrinking the pool of available people. It's true. It's very true. I don't know. I think it's funny. You know what, though? I... <laughs> that was louder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I appreciate the people who actually reach out and physically DM any of our accounts. I think that they're nice. We need to replace that bag. I appreciate them. But the people who I really don't appreciate are the people in their damn autoresponders. <laughs> yeah. Just because I liked one of your posts or followed you does not mean I want the entire synopsis of your business plan in my DM. Yeah. So how about you don't? I don't at all disagree with you on that. It drives me crazy. <sighs> right. There's no need for that. And I mean, it's funny, but in the early days of Twitter, that was the big thing was someone would, you would follow somebody and you'd get an auto DM. Thanks for the follow. It's annoying. We will never set that up for any of our uh -uh. accounts. Uh -uh. Because for one thing, it was a bad idea back then. Now it's an even worse idea. I mean, and if you're going to set up auto DMs, you should at least do something like, hey, Thanks for following me. How's it going? I'd like to learn about you. Not, hey, tips, whatever the middle word we have is, and inspiration. Or, hey, podcast network and editing. Yeah. Like, okay, I know you're a bot because nobody thinks podcast network and editing is my freaking name. <laughs> Such a good point. Such a good point. In case you couldn't tell, autoresponders make me feisty. 
<sighs> That's just mm. funny. Because can you imagine for a minute, like, I don't know, like, I've seen, like, I've seen, like, uh, fit body boot camp as two different words. I've seen, like, um, sexy space pinup girls. Can you imagine they send you a message that says, hey, mm-hmm. sexy. <laughs> this is going to pull your right. first name. That's not your first name. And that's how you know it's a bot. Because no, you're right. No human would go, oh, let me send a message. Oh, what's their name? Oh, their name must be sexy. Hey, podcast network and editing. Yeah. Hey, tips, diamond, humor, diamond, inspiration. That's not my name. Crap, damn it. <laughs> it's not. It's not anybody's name. Sure? I'm 100% sure. You're sure that diamond isn't on your birth certificate? Yes. You're, you're positive. 100% so. You sure they didn't just use a diamond to represent the word diamond and that your name isn't actually diamond something diamond? Positive. You sure? 100%. How do you know this? Because I've seen my birth certificate. Okay. That that okay. I, I'm done. Can't argue any further than that. I tried. Also, sorry guys, I tried. I've noticed. Okay, we can all admit I manage the Instagram accounts for the podcast network and the website scientists sometimes. most of the time. Sometimes. Okay, so I'm usually the one checking the DMs. She handles the direct messages. I generally post the content. For the podcast network, yeah. Yes. The web scientist is my baby. But I noticed the other day, and I don't know how the... I don't know... I didn't think you had to set this when you set up the account. Both of them are set as male. We get an inordinate amount of butts. Nice. <laughs> and none of them are nice. Oh, you know. No nice butts. Lots the of stories links... Stories I could tell you but won't hear. Lots of links to miscellaneous Russian porn sites from from yes. accounts that just have a butt. Yeah, I've seen those Why? I've seen those too. Um, you, just stop. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. The, the whole naked butt thing, like, I could tell you stories that they just freak me out. Like, okay, admittedly, when you follow bodybuilders you get butts you it's natural that you get interaction with like some of the bikini competitors etc and those ladies build a huge following and then some guy will come along and be like okay look i know you have the exact demographic for my product right i don't want to wait A year to grow to that level. And I could do it if I waited a year. But I don't want to wait a year. I'm going to pay you $250,000. And I'm going to buy your account from you. Correct. And then they say, okay. And then the next thing I know, I'm getting naked boobs in my Instagram feed. Let's be real. With stars on the nipples, of course. Don't forget the stars on the nipples. That makes it okay, right? Somehow, Somehow, because I can't see the nipples... It's not, it's not pornographic, but if violate, I see the nipples, it is. It doesn't violate the terms and, of service. And here's the thing. I'm going to tell you this. I'm not arguing to hide the nipples. I'm arguing that saying that putting a little star over it somehow makes it better. It's still a naked lady. So if that naked lady's okay, then the real naked lady should be okay. Am I wrong about that? No, you're not wrong about that. But also, you've seen a lot worse than boobs with stars over the nipples. Yes, but but if but if but if nudity is not okay on Instagram, then nudity should not be okay on Instagram. It's true. There should be clothing on. Right. At least a bit. And I've always up. here's the thing. I've always felt, always felt that since men, that it's okay for men to go around topless, then it should be okay for women to go around topless. Period. And if it's and not okay not about, for women, and that's not then it shouldn't be okay for it's men. It's not a self-serving statement. It exactly. just has to be equal. Exactly. No, exactly. That's not. I was just going to say that, but you beat me to it. Because then if you're going to say it's not okay for the women, then it can't be okay for the men. 
Because no matter, no matter what is okay, I'm not walking around shirtless. Because I don't want to. And you and don't choice. tend to walk around shirtless right, because you don't want to. But it, if it's going to be socially acceptable for you, it should be socially acceptable for me. Exactly. They're just boobs. Well, and that's just it. The people, it's why I say, all right, so it's okay for her to pose in a certain way. And then you can see like her naked butt. And the rest of her body's naked. And you can see her boobs because she's kind of facing forward. And, oh, wait a minute. There's a nipple there. Let me put a little star on it. And suddenly, it's okay. Right. Why make them go through that? Like, come on. You either make her. Because obviously, that's the funny part. The ass isn't offensive to them. What's offensive the to them is the nipples. And the asshole. Yeah. None of that's offensive to them. But the nipple. That's offensive to them. Yes. That's stupid. So, okay. It's I've often complained, I've often complained while playing The Sims, that their base underwear is granny-ish. <laughs> okay. So, you can download mods, and you can download things that make the base underwear less granny-ish, but that's beside the point. The game is rated, rated PG-13. That's interesting. So, if you had to be 13 to use Instagram, which you do, shouldn't their rating system be similar? Granny bra, granny panties? Style coverage? That covers all the things. Yeah. I would think that the... The... Whatever... Would be the same. But apparently not. 13-year-olds can see nipples on Instagram, or almost nipples on Instagram covered by little stars. But heaven forbid in the game they play, the Sim character's bra might actually let them wear a fashionable shirt. <laughs> well, anyway. But that's the thing, you know, that, that's the thing about censorship, though. Now, if we're kind of going in a direction I didn't expect to, but that's good. That's what this show's all about. Censorship is just bad because... You can, for one thing, you can set these funky, arbitrary rules about what's okay and what's not okay. And then, on top of that, you get to you get to say, oh, well, it's to this degree that it's okay. Beyond that, you know, oh, wait a minute. If you take the star off the nipples, it's not okay. Right. Let's just put a little star on the nipples and then it's all right. To my way of thinking, it actually attracts more attention to the damn area that they're trying to not attract attention to. Because now there's a big-ass gold star there. That says, hey, check me out. Look, I'm boobs. Like, it's the (sighs) stupidest thing. And, and, you know, here's what I'm going to say. At the same time, if they want to say, we're not allowed to have nudity on our platform at all, great. But then if they're going to say you can have some... But if you're going to say you can have some nudity, well, then they're going to have to allow... Some nudity. Right. It's pretty simple. I mean... I also think... I also think that if if nipples are the problem, that men should have to put stars over theirs, too. Yeah. It's only fair. See how it goes? It's only fair. I totally agree with you now, on Now, I'm offended by zero of the nipples. Me, too. But I don't care. Come on, now. Equal opportunity censoring here. If you don't want to see nipples, you shouldn't want to see any nipples. Also, censor your cat's nipples. Well, Just in case. Well, okay. I think in a, I think in a lot of instances there are situations where like an executive in a company is kind of sexist, and so they set rules differently. Okay, I, I do. Somebody think that should ha- slap a bit. I do think that happens, and if that's the case, they should. They should get smacked. But I think that's not the case most of the time. I think there's other reasons they make these stupid decisions that they make, and then other people jump on the bandwagon because it kind of fits their ideology as well and they kind of all blend together and pretty soon they're censoring things well if they're going to censor the bad eventually they're going to censor the good you know why because that's how because, censorship works because the way they censored the bad was by getting enough people to agree that it was bad right right and you know what they're going to tell you that they'll never censor the good you want to know why they can say that and not lie because they'll just define whatever is currently good that they want to get rid of. They'll just as define bad. it as bad. 
Exactly. And then once it's defined as bad, then they'll eliminate it. Yep. That's how it goes. And then they're being consistent with their statement that they would only eliminate what's bad. Let's be real. That's how prohibition happened. Yeah. And then why prohibition went away. But still, that's how it happened. Exactly true. Anyway. Exactly true. So, that has been um, our crazy discussion about the crazy issues that go on inside of our head. <laughs> Apparently we were p- pissy on Instagram. You, if you like what you hear and you want to hear a more explicit, completely uncensored version, well, to be honest, there's like half a percent of censorship, but that's more to protect the innocent than anything else. Because my language is just dreadful. But the rest of it is uncensored and raw. Mm-hmm. And if you like that kind of thing, imzoo.com. Get yourself signed up. A lot of good stuff over there. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Toria Uncensored. Anyway, good night, everyone. Hasta the bye bye. Hi, everyone. This is Mike. And I truly hope you enjoyed the show. You're able to subscribe to this show on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher so as to never miss an episode. If, by chance, you did miss an episode here or there, you can catch up on all shows, past and present, by heading over to yogispodcastnetwork.com forward slash TNR show. Thanks for listening.